Hey folks, Engineer 775 wrapping up a rain catchment system. We uh, calculated what we needed for first flush diversion, the volume. So there were already gutters and downspouts here and we transitioned from the three inch downspout to a couple six inch diverter tubes, about 10 foot long. And uh, they have the first flush diverter kit, which you can pick up pretty cheap at Amazon for $35. We've manifolded those together, strapped it tight to the building, made sure we painted it to make it blend in. We've got two really nice uh, tanks, or 2,500 gallons each, and we've manifolded them together because one of the tanks is going to receive more water. We're actually doing uh, three quarters of a 42 by 60 building, and then we're going to have an electric pool pump that'll plug in right straight ahead. That will be sitting out here, cam locked into the manifold, and then we've got a little gas pump we're gonna hook up. So I have a couple of pumping options, drains, valves everywhere, overflows, and then we'll bury this uh, corrugation, corrugated pipe that we've transitioned to. And for this tank, we got one line coming through and another first flush diverter. And so we divided the first flush diversion into thirds, calculated out the volume based on a uh, metal roof, uh, cleaning it really nice and uh, rinsing it really nice. And so he'll have plenty, 5,000 gallons of rainwater stored out here to use it for firefighting, gardening, you name it. So just wrapping up another project uh, in a day in a life of Engineer 775. Signing off.